How's it going YouTube? Chris here in my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. So I want to talk about something that I've, I've had in the comments for, for just about a whole year now, especially after I changed my screen around and people have been telling me to put velvet on the uh, walls. Um, so this is a, a very, very early video on I'm doing velvet on my walls now. Uh, my good buddy, uh, Frankie from Columbia, drove a couple hours, came here yesterday. We hung out and had a blast. Did a lot of demos, did a lot of talking, talked about movies and, and stuff, man. Just had a great time. And uh, when I get my car fixed, I gotta, I'm going to go do a, uh, hopefully get to do a room tour of his theater. But he did mention that, and I told him, I said, brother, I've got the, the velvet here. I said, I just have never got around to installing it. Uh, well, today I started doing it and I'm going to finish it sometime because uh, it's, it's going to take a lot of work. Uh, like I say, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. I kind of hate to show you really, but you know, I want to get some videos out. So I'm going to show you kind of early, talk about it and how I'm going to uh, address some of the problems that I'm, I'm running into. And, uh, and just kind of let you see so far. I got one side part of the way done. So let's turn this video around, or this camera around. So as you can see, I took my sound panels down and I got it on the wall and it don't look that bad. Of course, I got some spots to fix and I'm and trying to stretch it out so it's not, you know, straight. But what we're going to do is I'm going to get some, uh, I'm either going to rip some, uh, uh, OSB board down uh, to maybe like a four inch or six inch uh, and then cover it in uh, this velvet to make a border on the top and then I'm going to do a strip across the bottom here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take these lights off. I don't even turn them on anyway. So and all these wrinkles and all this stuff will be gone and then it'll look good. Now the actual wall don't look all that bad. Uh, I guess where I've had this stuff folded up, it's got some spots on and I've tried to rub it out and I'm hoping that over time it'll come out. Uh, I've had to, I've had this fabric for probably a year or more. Uh, well, probably not a year or more, but I, I mean, at least uh, December, January or something like that. Uh, but it really looks good, guys. Um, I like how it looks. So let me turn the light off. And we'll talk about it. So, as you can see, there is no bleeding over. Okay, there's none. I mean, you can see a little bit of just a little bit of a reflection there, but overall, I mean, no, not really. And that's a pretty bright picture. What's up there now? But as you can see, it's completely bleeding over here, and it's actually bleeding back here. So I'm actually going to I'm gonna do it up front. First, and this is the issue. I'm having this issue with it, and I've done changed HDMI. I honestly think it's my Apple TV is going bad, and this, and this is the most if it's this is the most it's done that in a while. So, but it's it's fine. Uh, we'll we'll address that another day. So I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try to do it equal on both sides here. And then if I got enough fabric, I'm going to bring it back. I may come back all the way to the door here. I'm going to turn the light back on. I may bring it all the way back to the door frame here and then bring it all the way back to the door frame here and just, you know, just put a, like a little false board up there just to give it some kind of breakup and border. That's kind of my plan right now. And I'm going to take these diffusers down and I'm going to run uh, velvet across the top and across the bottom also so i'm getting it done i was going to do some type of little curtain to kind of hang down and bunch it up and just kind of give it some you know some texture so to speak like you know a design of the of the of the uh diffusers here uh and i basically just putting them up there for looks so i, I thought about doing like a little curtain out of velvet and hang it down just to kind of give it a little you know contrast something a little different and i still may do that but i think i'm just going to cover the wall like i'm doing here 
So, so far, I do like the way that looks. Um, it's, it seems like it's still got a little a bleed over here, but it's not near as bad as what you're seeing over here. Um, so, and then when I get that done, I'm actually thinking about going ahead. If I'm going through all this now, uh, going ahead and, and, and doing my columns, mounting my speakers in the wall, or doing them, running the wires, and, and, and getting, getting all that complete. So that way I can go ahead and do my nine channel floor speakers also. Now, I mean, I got to buy another amp, but I'm fine with that. So I think it's going to look good. Once it's done, it's just going to take a lot of work. Like I said, I got to uh, trim that and then run my board up, cover it. Uh, I think I can I can tuck that up under the the uh, the molding up there. So I think I'm good up top, but on the bottom, uh, on the bottom, I think I'm just going to run another board up there somehow to kind of hide how it looks there and I'm like I said, I'm just going to tear these uh goby lights up cuz I don't I don't even use them and I got plenty of fabric so I got a, a piece there and I got a a a lot here I don't remember how many yards this was uh I probably have to order some more and that's fine uh it's not all that expensive I think for what I bought and this is probably probably 30 feet or more probably 30 or probably 30 to 40 feet. Uh, I probably got a couple hundred bucks in it. Maybe I have to go back and look, but that's kind of my plan. And like I say, guys, I, I mean, I knew it was going to do better. And I know a lot of people do it. And, uh, as you can see, I mean, it's totally black on that wall versus versus look at that side. And that's what y'all been telling me all this time. And it don't really bother me. It really don't. But I want to try to get the best experience I had. And my buddy Frankie told me that that's what he did. And look at that. It just disappears over there. So, yes, I'm definitely going to finish this up. And we're going to have it done uh, on the bottom here. Uh, I wish I thought about buying, buying a daggum area rug and putting up there like a black area rug with designs or something. I may even do that because you can see the floor real good. And if it was black, it would be even better. So, hey, ain't no telling what I might end up doing. I'll try to, you know, give this thing a little better look. But, uh, yeah, I think what I'm doing now is going to enhance the quality of the picture even better. I really, I really do think it is. Uh, this is something off of uh, YouTube. Uh, it's supposed to be like 12K or what? I don't know. It's only going to display what I got. And I got a, uh, a 4K uh, or 4K e-shift, whatever you want to call it. And uh, But I'm telling you guys, that's just a phenomenal picture. Look at that. Look at that. And that's YouTube. Streaming YouTube. And it looks that good. It's impressive. So, I mean, I had to... I got to show something and see, there we go again. Uh, I think it's my Apple TV is going bad. And that was my newest one because I've changed the cables and it, it, I think it done it with the RCAM and it's done it with the, uh, uh, doing it with the Anthem. So I went completely out that time. What in the world? Let's, let's see if we can. There we go. So, yeah, I got got something going on, and that's just what I'm thinking. It's uh, I don't remember what I had playing. We didn't have no Peloton up there, but so guys, that's kind of what I'm doing. I just want to give y'all an update on it, and I will finish it this week, or try to finish it this week, and we'll have all this buttoned up, and you won't see. You won't see any of that crap. There'll be a, like I said, a border there, board, and then I'm going to bring this on out. All this stuff will be covered, and I may go ahead and try to get um, those columns done and get those speakers hooked up because I want to go ahead and get, uh, you know, my full surround 
And also what I'm planning on doing, and I had been thinking about this because I've seen in other people's theaters, and, I, and I've been thinking about doing it. Uh, I may because I don't think I'm going to put... Uh, this is going to absorb some sound, I guess, because it's got, you know, it's not thick, but I mean, it's still a wall up under. So it's going to reflect some sound. So I don't think I'm going to hang my uh, sound panels back up here. I don't think now. I may, I may, I may do it. I don't know. I got, I got to do some, run some tests, but I'm actually wanting to do some on the ceiling up here because I have nothing on the ceilings. So I want to do some kind of absorption on the ceilings because you know the sound's going to bounce up there, and I know that's going to enhance uh, sound quality even more. So that is something that I'm going to be working on also, uh, but I'm going to get this done and see where I'm at uh, with the panels. If I if I need to put them back up here, is is it going to change the sound? I don't I don't, I don't know. If nothing else, I can I can double stack them over here, put one up there, and uh, let's see. I'll be taking that one down too. So if I do two, three, that's five. I might can put a couple of them up here. I don't know. We'll 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 see how it all works out. We'll see how it all works out. So all right, guys. So let's turn this camera on because I got something else to announce. Something that I did not know. So as me and uh my friend that came yesterday, we were talking about movies because we were doing demos. And <laughs> He mentioned that the equalizer was in uh, DTSX IMAX enhanced. I'm like, huh? No, 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 no. I got the movie. I jumped up, went, got the movie, put it in. Sure enough, it was just Dolby Atmos, which the stream wasn't even Dolby Atmos. The stream on iTunes was just Dolby Audio or whatever you want to call it. So he said that he got the three movie set. So I, we, we went to Blu-ray.com, and sure enough, that three-movie set is in DTX, DTSX, IMAX Enhanced. It's put out by Sony, so you know Sony supports the IMAX Enhanced. So I had to do some quick figuring on, on, on my dollar bills, and I ordered it. It'll be here Tuesday. I've already gotten the movies. I swear I didn't want to order them. But guys, here is another movie that we can compare with Dolby Atmos and DTSX, and this is even the IMAX Enhanced. So we can put it to the test and see which one is better. And this is a newer movie, like with, uh, you know, you guys, you know, I did a video with on the Arrow release of Waterworld. Waterworld came out in DTSX. And then Arrow released it in Dolby Atmos. That was an older movie. Guys, these are current movies. Current movies. Now, the first Equalizer, I don't know, three, four years ago, a couple years ago. I, I, don't, I don't know when exactly come out. But Equalizer 3 was this year. And it's in Dolby Atmos and in DTSX IMAX Enhanced. So we are going to put that through the test and see how it performs. Which one is better? Which one sounds better? That video will be coming up this coming week this coming week so i'm excited to be able to bring that to you and uh, i'm sure glad that me, me and mr frankie was talking about that because i had no idea that totally slipped under the radar for me and i'm pretty much on the movies for the most part so i am definitely excited to get that in and uh try to see if uh try to see how it sounds uh because i'm curious with a newer movie, uh, we'll, we'll see which one is better. So that is a, a, a video that's coming up. I want to let you guys know about that. So uh, guys, what you think about my um, the velvet going up? Any suggestions? Like I said, I tried to, I, I, I tacked it all the way against the wall. So then when I tried to pull it tight, I did the wall and did the top. And then I tried to do the side, uh, the side that you see where it's, you know, it's, of course, it's, you know, angling back at the top of the wall, and then I did the bottom, and I got a few wrinkles in the bottom. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna get all that straight. Uh, but hey, if y'all got any other suggestions on how to do this, uh, I I would be uh, appreciative. Now I didn't put any glue on the walls or anything like that. I just, you know, I basically just uh, you know tacked it in the corners and tried to pull it tight the best I can, 
And of course, I'm going to have to reduce some of that. And that's the purpose of putting the border up. When you make two pieces together, you don't want to see the seam, you know, and this stuff is uh, as temperamental enough, I guess, as it is. So uh, if you guys got any other suggestions, I will take them, okay? So guys, I uh, hope you enjoy uh, your afternoon, and we will definitely see you again uh, this week. Uh, if not before, we'll definitely see you uh, after Thanksgiving. So guys, y'all have a good day, and we'll see you again in the next video.